out here. There is no good and there is no bad. He's talking about the mean streets of Atlanta, the setting of Triple Nine. Can you do that? The film's about a guy who gets unwittingly mixed up with a bunch of crooked cops, cops who are knocking off banks for the Russian mob. Some of the extras used in the film have real gang history. We found people that had that life experience because, you know, we also have real gang unit guys not only advising but in the film and likewise with uh, ex gang members I say ex gang members because had we got active gang members it would have been too volatile Amen. tell me about that there was one big gang member who was, who was just enormous and he's firing a sh machine gun behind who was that guy you know he just did he just did an episode of uh of Walking Dead. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, wow. He was like, how was it? I'm like, you look sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you can tell me he's a gentle giant, I bet, right? He's, you know, yeah, and he's kind of small. Is he? He's not as big I as he looks at the day. Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool guy. Let's make this one for the books. A lot of firepower in this thing. What is it like when you go out on a day on the set uh, on one of these action scenes? Does your head come back? Does it just feel like it's ringing? The ears are gone. The the your head's like ready to explode. Like just the sound of the guns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's kind of intense. You know, I mean, we did a lot. There's a lot of action in the movie, uh, and I had to do a lot of work on like just coming up to speed with 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 being weaponized. You know, like uh, that was a lot of my. Preparation was just was just that was just this being, is a gun. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I'm Mexican. They always say, "Hey, do you know how to use this?" I'm Mexican. Of course, I know how to use. Just give it to me. Does anyone believe something very big is about to go down? Tell me about um, working with Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is an interesting guy to interview, and I imagine he's an interesting guy to, to, to work with. What's a day with Woody like, a Woody moment? You know, once you break that wall, you get to see this other Woody, and I, I broke it like the day we met. It was like, we laughed so hard. <laughs> we laughed so hard, and it was, I think it was the first day I met him, and we went to a restaurant, we just ended up just talking and laughing and, and drinking. I think we made fun of Canadians, too. <laughs> Rapido! Now, perhaps to flaunt his gentler side, you may have noticed that Norman Reedus spent our interview with a puppy in his lap. Uh, you, you gotta explain what, what's going on here on your lap here. The, the, the cuteness beyond despair. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's a furry thing in your lap. Right there. I, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> and when he heard that yours truly was from Tampa, well, he just couldn't wait to talk about his recent two-wheeled trek just to our south. Good that you were just in Tampa. Are you not, not in Tampa. Tampa. I was in Tampa. Naples, and then I was I rode a motorcycle down to uh, Key West. Tell me about your experience. How was how was it? It was awesome. The seven mile bridge down there was just magical on a on a bike. Avoid the alligators and hope for the best, right? Yeah, there were there were people were telling me you have to watch out for uh, alligators in the road, uh, large snakes, and panthers. <laughs> that's, com that's comforting. Panthers welcome welcome, welcome and, home. Welcome yeah. to our state. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Did right? you see anything? No, I didn't. You want to come down? I mean, I would love <laughs> <that>. <laughs> I can't think of a better yeah. invitation. Yeah. Triple nine, officer down. Please respond. All units. 